And this is that flow I was talking about, um, where you begin your express checkout call. That's where you do that first call with your API credentials and all the details about your shopping cart. And what PayPal gives you back is a token. You extract that out of the response. And then you redirect your user to log, to log in on PayPal. It's secure. We're not you're not touching their credentials, so we know that it's secure. They can confirm their details, and then we return them to the URL that you sent in that first API call. This second API call, that's optional. That's just getting like the shipping address. Maybe you want to give them some choices on, on, on calculating the cost of shipping if they choose next day error or something like that. But it's not required. The third API call, that's required to actually complete the transaction. That's where you say, okay, this guy's done. He's ready to pay. He's confirmed. And we do that final transaction call and we get a <coughs> success or failure response. And here's my Flex mobile app that I did um, with the Express Checkout. Um, I'm a big Micronauts fan from back in the day. And so I'm going to go over to Flash Builder and run this. Oops. And hopefully the internets are smiling upon me. So I'll go in here. I can select an item. I can add it to my shopping cart. And now I can check out with PayPal. And what it's doing right now is it's actually making that first API call on my server. I'm pointing to localhost. And then it's automatically redirecting me over here to PayPal. This is that mobile optimized web view I was talking about. And I said uh, we have choice, right? If I want to pay with a credit card, I can click on that. And I can check out without having to log into PayPal or even having a, a PayPal account. It's totally fine. <coughs> but something to note, people, and I'm, I'm one of them, they don't like typing a lot on their mobile devices if they can help it. So if they're given the option to log in with a PayPal account, they often will. And we've seen a 14% lift in transactions when you offer PayPal as an option. So here I'm given a choice. I can fund it from my bank, or I can fund it from my PayPal balance. I can say where I'm shipping it to. And when I'm done, I hit continue. It returns me back to my site. It does that second API call to get all the details. I click pay. And now it's doing the third API call to complete the transaction. And there it is. And now I close the window, and I'm back in my Flex app. So the first API call, the transaction, I wasn't aware that there was like a verifying step. The, 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 the which, which step? Like after you've gone and logged in and yep. all the payments are placed in. No, but you can do that. There is there's an extra, uh, I have a slide that shows that. You can actually, I, I didn't do it in my example because I wanted to do the, the entire flow, but you can add an additional parameter called user action equals commit. And instead of seeing a continue button on the second screen when you're on PayPal, you get a pay now button. And boom, your transaction's done. And people who do mobile checkout prefer that because one less step, one less, one less call to the server, right? I'd be concerned that users would get back to my app and be like, they think it's done. Yeah. Because they don't want to log in again. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, it's only if you were going to display some sort of request like, um, what's my, you know, I want to change uh, my shipping preference. I want to ship uh, next day air instead of ground. Well, when you do your initial API call and you tell them how much I'm do authorizing this for $20, we actually give you like a 15% margin above that, that you can actually do your final transaction can be a little bit more. So you can, you can, you can change the amount just a little bit there, uh, but... That's the only, the only reason you would show that screen is if you actually wanted to get uh, some more information from the customer. For mobile, for mobile yeah. I, I, would, I would just go with the, if, if you can, just go with the quicker checkout. So this is, this is what I'm doing in Flex. Um, I'm using the stage web view component. And um, 
Stage web view doesn't um, allow you to dispatch events. So I've actually got this wrapped in a custom component that allows me to dispatch this event, because um, dispatch events, because I want to know when did the location change? When did I get redirected to PayPal? When did I return from PayPal? So that I can do things inside of my Flex app. Um, when I click that PayPal, um, pay with PayPal button, what I'm doing, that the three dots right there, that is basically me gathering up the contents of my shopping cart and creating that URL, URL um, variable uh, and appending that to that um, URL and changing the web view. So I'm pointing to that along with this sort of name value pair string and passing it on. I mean, I guess you could do like a remote object call or some other way of communicating with Flex, but I just went with this because it was stage web view and this seemed like the, the simplest. And what I'm doing is I'm listening for when I get redirected to PayPal Sandbox, and that's when I actually show the stage web view. I noticed when I was developing this that if I showed the stage web view the minute I hit the, the pay with PayPal button, there's a couple second delay while you're making the API call, you're doing the redirect, and people get this white screen. And I didn't, I didn't want that. I wanted to, them to see the loading message. So once I know they've hit PayPal, I know the loading message is gonna be showing any second. So I then show the web view which is, we've seen this screen where we log in. We get to our closed window here, and that closed window just points to a page called close.php, and that file um, has nothing in it. It's just close.php, and the reason I did that is because inside of Flex, I wanted to listen for when I changed that location so I could then hide my web view and push me to my completed state. So that, that was my little hack, thought it worked. And this is what I was describing to you, Dan, uh, the, uh, the pay now button right there, instead of continue. As you can see, it's a much quicker uh, mobile payment flow. And of course, this is all 